Hi, my name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and this is my full hands-on review of the new Sculpt Aim. So the Sculpt Aim is a different kind of fitness product than we've seen in the past. Now most fitness wearables and fitness trackers show you what you've done, how many steps and calories you've burned. This is a fitness product that actually shows you the results of what you've done. And it does so by quantifying two important metrics, body fat and muscle quality. More on that in a moment, but first let's look at the aesthetics and build quality of this device. On the back of the device are the sensors that it uses to take the readings and that it also has four pins that snap into a charging base in order to charge the device while you're not using it. The charging base plugs in via USB either to a computer or to a phone charger. Now the Sculpt battery life isn't great because it uses NICAD batteries rather than newer lithium ion batteries. Not a big deal but it does mean you'll want to keep this in its charging base when you're not using it. Controls are simple and intuitive. On the right side, there's an up-down selection option, and then on the left side, there's the on-off button. Initial setup was fairly easy. It allows you to set up a profile and pair the device with the AIM, and then it took about 15 minutes to update. The device will prompt you to take an initial reading, and if you need instructions, you can go to their website to show how to take those different readings. But those videos are also accessible via the app where it will show you how to use the device for specific body parts that you're trying to measure. The videos were helpful because I found that proper placement was important to getting accurate readings. I could get different results as much as 1% differences depending on where I placed the, the device. Now when setting up your initial reading, it will ask for your biceps, your chest, your abs, and your thighs to determine your overall muscle quality and body fat content. Now we're all probably familiar with the term body fat percent, so uh, you know maybe you've seen calipers, and I actually did try this against the calipers and found it was within a half a percent of my caliper reading, so it's very accurate in getting that data. But muscle quality is probably a term that you're not familiar with, at least I wasn't. And so 100 is considered the average person's muscle quality. Anything less than that means the muscle quality is diminished. Anything greater than that uh, means a more fit or athletic person. And muscle quality means that the muscle is denser. There's less fat and connective tissue in between the fibers. So in theory, if you were to take one pound of 80 muscle quality versus one pound of 120 muscle quality, the muscle quality of 120 is gonna have more force or strength per pound. And so the aim is very helpful for people who are lifting weights looking to make muscle gains, not only in determining what their body fat percent is, but also in determining if their muscle quality is getting better. Now one last cool feature is that this has a guest mode so you can share it with friends and it also has multiple users that can use this as well. So it's a really cool device, highly recommend this. Occasionally I'll come across a device that truly brings value to me as a fitness enthusiast and this is definitely one of those devices. Go out and pick it up today, it's well worth the 200 bucks.